Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Deneen and this is Design by Denine. Today I'm participating for the first time in Thrift Flip Thursday. This challenge is hosted by Savannah of Savvy Crafts with Savannah and Shayna of Shayna Robinson Repurposing. This challenge is held every second Thursday of the month. I have links to both of their channels as well as the playlist in my description box below, so please be sure to check out all of the other YouTubers and see what they have flipped this month. For my Thrift Flip, I'm taking these roadside find French Provincial nightstands and giving them a blended blue chalk paint makeover. So without further ado, let's make some stuff. I picked up this little French provincial nightstand on the side of the road um, at a house where they were cleaning everything out of the house. And by the time I got there, this was one of the only pieces of furniture that was left. And I think the reason this one got left behind was because the top on it had warped. About a year later, while the other one was kind of rotting away in my shed in my backyard, I actually found pretty much the identical nightstand on the road just sitting on the road for free and it was about four doors down from my house so I never paid anything for either one of these they were both free and all of the paints and supplies that I'm using are actually left over from another furniture painting project which makes this pretty affordable at a cost of nothing as you can see the top of this nightstand is in pretty rough shape so I'm using my random orbital sander and some pretty light sandpaper. I think I had a 120 grit on here and I've also hooked it up to my shop vac to cut down on the dust. So I'm just taking all of the loose paint off with my sander. Once the top was all sanded down, I went over and filled all the cracks in using wood filler. So as I mentioned earlier, the top of the nightstand had warped and while it sat in my shed over the summer, it seems to have settled back down, but there was still some gaps in between the wood slats on the top. So as you can see right here, um, I filled in all those spots with wood filler. Before painting, I just took a damp rag to wipe off all of the dust and from the wood filler that was on the top. A lot of French provincial furniture has this white baked on finish and it doesn't sand down very well. Like it sanded nicely on the actual wood, but on the side pieces that are more like a press board, it doesn't really sand down and it's hard to paint over. Before painting, it's important to prep your surface so that your paint will stick. So on those pieces that don't sand well down right to the wood, I'm using a bonding agent. I'll put a link to one in the description box below. just apply a thin coat of this over the areas that need the adhesion assistance and you can see it here shining on the side of the drawer front. Also you're going to need to remove any hardware and I suggest putting it uh, putting the pieces back together and then putting them in a labeled bag and putting them somewhere where you can find them because I can tell you from experience I have lost pieces in the past and it's super frustrating. Time to paint and I started with the inside which I think is easiest and I've done one coat of navy blue chalk paint. Note that the first coat of chalk paint usually goes on pretty ugly especially over the existing paint surface. But don't worry too much about it because you're probably going to do another one or two coats on top of that until you get the desired finish. Mm -hmm. 
I am also using a mister and I'll link to one of those in the description box as well. Um, you need to use additional water with a lot of the chalk paint, especially when you're painting it on the dry wood like this. It's quite thick and it doesn't spread very well if you don't add a bit of water. For the first coat on the top of the nightstand, I just did the straight navy blue. I didn't blend the colors for the first coat, I just wanted to get some color on there to cover up the wood. Between coats, it's important to give your paint a light sanding. This will just get rid of any little bumps or drips on the surface of the paint. And then just take a tack cloth to wipe off any of that excess dust before adding your next coat of paint. For this second coat, I'm adding the secondary color and blending the paints. When I blend paints, I usually do an outline of the darker color and then an interior, generally in the shape of a square, if it's a square piece of furniture. And then I just use my round blending brush and I go back and forth using a lot of water from my mister and blending the two colors together. It's personal preference as to how much you want to blend your colors. I used to blend them with a much higher contrast and now I like to blend them so that you can just barely see the, the tone difference between the two shades. This is what the drawer front looked like after one coat of chalk paint on the baked on finish. Also note that you don't want to let these indentations fill in with paint as you're going to be adding color to this later on. When blending paint colors, I generally use a small angled brush, one brush for each paint color. And then I also use an oval chalk painting brush for blending. I also have a mister filled with water, as well as a dry or damp rag to wipe the brush in between. Here is what the drawer front looks like after it's got the addition of top coat. I use General Finishes High Performance Satin Top Coat and I generally do two to three coats over the entire piece. The final piece to this project is to do the gold highlighting in all of the recessed areas of the piece. This is Rust-Oleum Metallics in Gold Mine. I'm using a really fine artist's brush. This one is just from a set that I bought at Walmart, so they're inexpensive. The trick is to stay in between the lines, though that's easier said than done. But part of the reason that we did the top coat first is that way if you do go out of the lines very much, you can just take a damp cloth and wipe away any areas where you've gone outside of the lines. It's better to do several lighter coats than one very heavy coat as you'll tend to get puddling in the recesses. I won't make you watch the whole thing because it's a bit tedious. Suffice it to say, it took a bit of trial and error to get this right. Let's jump to the finished product. Thank you. 